Welcome back to our video series on a sailplane refinish and 3000 hour major inspection of an LS3A at Schaefer Aviation in Williams, California. Part 3 of this series dives into removing old gel coat and discovering underlying pits and voids requiring a fiberglass veil cloth. Join us as we continue. Hello, I'm Sean with Wings and Wheels. We left off from our last video with a flap repair. All control surfaces have been removed. Now Danny Schaefer and crew will begin grinding and sanding off the old gel coat. Danny is the owner of Schaefer Aviation, specializing in glider repair, refinish, and inspection. He's a licensed glider pilot with over 12 years of experience working on sailplanes. Let's listen in. Here we see Santiago working on removing the original gel coat from the fuselage. We've got the fuselage mounted in our octagonal hoop back in the sanding bay. We use a combination of an 8 inch disc sander, a 6 inch DA sander, and finish off with a flex block, all equipped with 80 grit sandpaper. The goal here is to get rid of all the old crazed gel coat without getting into the fiberglass. By the time we've got this project stripped down, we'll have logged over 120 hours of labor and be about a quarter of the way through the refinish process. We'll have the most labor intensive part behind us. Back here with the right wing. The guys got the wing stripped all the way down pretty much to bare glass. There's a little bit of paint and filler left on the spoiler. You can see a pretty nasty crack here we're gonna see how we can fix that pretty soon here. You can see virtually all the gel coat is gone. There's just a tiny bit left in a few places. You can see how uh, a lot of the cloth is fairly dry in some places. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna come in with a veil cloth, which is uh, some of the lightest fiberglass we can get and add a new finish cloth to both sides of this thing. That gives us a really nice surface to prime on and it also ensures that all the little voids in the surface are filled up. Here you see us adding the veil cloth. We use MGS 285 resin and apply it with rollers and plastic spreaders. After saturating the cloth and rolling out any air bubbles, we apply the blue peel ply layer, which leaves a nicely textured surface, keeps out unwanted particulates, and ensures the cloth is fully saturated. 